Hello my soccer universe to the what to watch video for this week which I'm shooting already on Wednesday to have it out the latest Friday morning but I think I want to have it on Thursday out. Um, as you can see in the background this weekend is all about the Derby della Capitale more on that last uh, a little bit later but yeah I decided to put those up it's all what's about you know which team I'm gonna support. Um, I'm also wearing my new Barcelona away jersey because Barcelona is also playing a pretty big game away from home. Though they will not play in that one, they will play in their regular jersey. But I thought, yeah, let's give this my latest Barcelona acquisition a little bit of love in this video. Um, quickly before I get in there, uh, you might have realized that the roundup video I made was super long, 40 minutes. This is not necessary what I want to do for the future. I decided I will actually split it up a little bit more. I will probably make one separate one for Spain, one separate one for Premier League, a separate one for Serie A, and then put Germany and all the other leagues in a uh, third video. I think this is much better to give it in bite size. It also allows me to, uh, you know, Yesterday I did it so late because I just needed to wait for Serie A. I could have done a Serie A video a little bit later. You know, it gives me a little bit more flexibility. So just as a heads up. Let's see uh, what's going to happen this weekend. We start in Spain where I think it's pretty clear the big matchup there is the Saturday kickoff uh, between uh, Barcelona and Valencia. A game that is being played at the new uh, big game slot uh, Saturday, four o'clock, like we had Real Madrid Sevilla. So we have Valencia Barcelona four o'clock on Saturday, and when we, as we will see, it's actually a pretty good slot for that game. It starts off with Osasuna Levante on Friday, which kind of so and so. I think there are better games uh, in that slot as well. Uh, Sevilla Granada is an Andalusian derby that might be of interest. If I look on Sunday, yeah, I'm not so crazy about either of these. I mean, uh, Atletico Leganes, yes, is a Madrid derby, but honestly, oh sorry, you know. Comunidad de Madrid, but on, on, honestly both teams are not all that great. Real Sociedad plays Mallorca, could be an interesting one, where the little late against Real Madrid. I do expect a uh, workman like win by Real Madrid. Let's move straight to the Premier League. Um, I think the Saturday first game, Leicester City against Chelsea, is probably one of the more interesting ones, uh, especially since Leicester has been a little bit wobbly. I mean, they still have to play now. Chelsea well, is a little bit wobbly, so that could be an interesting one, and it's also one where, yeah, Champions League implications are in there. If there's a winner, that team might look good uh, for the rest of the season. Another one, Liverpool Southampton. Given that Southampton had been of great form as of late, that's surely an interesting one. The late slot, Manchester United against the Wolves. I'm not so excited about that one, especially since in the FA Cup both of these games uh, where United in the end won were rather drab affairs. Burnley, Arsenal, yeah, if you're a fan of either of these, I think you're gonna watch. And then Spurs against City is the big game, but hmm, yes, they played crazy matches last season, especially in the Champions League. I just, I think the lust is a little bit gone, especially with Spurs being so dreary. And yeah, Mourinho didn't help matters here. Few more exciting matchups are in the Bundesliga. I have to have, have to say. I mean, the Friday night game between Dortmund and Köln is already one that I'm semi looking forward to. Um, of course, Frankfurt Leipzig I think is probably the biggest one there, and Bayern Schalke is a big name game. And if you look at the table, it's probably even the uh, most prominent game uh, this round. Sunday again leaves me rather cold, to be honest. Anything but cold is what uh, I have to say I feel about the Serie A fixtures. Although it's Friday, yes, because Milan is playing. I'm always excited about that. Although, yeah, and they're getting better. So I, there is some excitement there. The Saturday games are so-and-so. I mean, Torino, Atalanta could be interesting, but Torino is also not such a exciting team to watch. And Atalanta got a real uh, hit on the head. Inter Calderi don't think will be a great game, but it really is all about the last two on the menu here. Roma Lazio. And then Napoli Juve. Even if Nap Napoli is bad, Napoli Juve is a game to watch. So I think my Sunday evening is pretty much panned out, and also Friday evening uh, with pressure. Milan and I can focus on the other leagues um, 
on Saturday, to be honest. We have also in France, I think Marseille Angers sounded a lot better a few months ago than it is now. Uh, two kind of biggish name matches between Nantes and Bordeaux on Sunday. That could be an interesting one, but there's the Derby de la Capitale right there, and Lille PSG is also a good one. Uh, but again, <sighs> Napoli, Juve, Lille PSG, although Lille PSG, that could be, yeah, maybe I put it on the second screen. That uh, sounds enticing enough, more enticing to me, honestly, than a very wide lead against the Real Madrid. And then I thought I'd keep it at top five uh, leagues, but I moved around a little bit and see if there's anything other interesting happening and Portugal has a match that it's on I think Saturday and then Wednesday which I don't understand but just at the moment when I thought yeah let's leave it out I found that in Greece there is an interesting matchup one that has a lot of uh, implications and that is Aik against Olympiakos uh, that's third against first so a little bit fingers crossed I know I want Pauk to win black and white forever not in Italy though. Uh, so there I would hope that uh, Olympiakos could drop some points. Pauk uh, plays against Volos. Yes, uh, we have to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, those are the uh, on Monday. So it's kind of late. Um, so those are also at least one a really interesting traditional game in there. Um, stopping just short of saying that it's a derby. Well, let me know which of these games you will be watching. I told you kind of how my schedule looks like for these days. I don't know if I will watch everything, especially since on Sunday we have a birthday party for my dollar who will turn eight years old. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.